Alright guys, not to steal anything from uh, YouTube media here, but uh, all credit goes to him for my, my idea to make this video. I'm going to attempt to make my own icon in um, PowerPoint. Um, and I'll probably use it as my avatar from now on, because mine is just a picture of me playing golf. So let me go ahead and maximize this. Um, I'm just going from the top of my head. I don't remember exactly what he said, but I know I'm supposed to delete these. What I'm going to do is insert a shape. Uh, here's a shape. And here's a relatively good looking shape. Alright. Oh, that was not. Oh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to insert an oval and hold down shift in order to make it a perfect circle. So go ahead and. Mine's going to be big because I'm cool. Psych. Alright. Um, right click it and go to format shape, and this is where I will create my. Um, this is where I'll create it. So I'm going to hit gradient fill, and I'll drag this off to the side so you can see it better. First of all, go to gradient fill. It just looks cool like that. Uh, you can change whatever angle. It just. It just gives it a certain appearance. That's cool. Um, that's just for fill. And let's go ahead and choose a color. My favorite. Ooh, that's not pretty though. Let's see what color. Just gold. That's, that's fine with me. No, it's not. Now I'm in line color. Shadow 3D do something with the shadow before. Alright, well, we're gonna add, I'm gonna add a shadow and make it pop out and make the size of it a little bigger. That's huge. Okay. That's a decent size shadow. Blur it a lot, because that, that's what makes it look like a shadow. Uh, how many frames am I getting? Alright, it's acceptable. Um, so now we're going to... I want to put a text box on it, right? This will... You know, it'll be my initials, say, MKB, right? So, we'll, I'm going to hit close. And I'm going to insert a text box just there. And I'm going to type MKB. Very, very simple, right? It's like, I'm going to format that. So right-click it and format. So now we're in the text box, and we want it to be, um, let's just leave it horizontal, leave it in the middle, right now, and uh, it has to be bigger, as we know, so let's change the font, uh, I think word art has something to do with this, if I can find like a little design with um where I can do word art. Where can I do word art? Here we go. Yeah that'll stand out, right? There we go. So let's delete this. Cut. And drag this to the middle. Of course the font is not big enough for us. So we're gonna make it humongous. No that's not big enough either. It's not quite big enough to fit our circle, so we're going to shrink that down a bit. And save that. That's a pretty cool image right there. That's going to be my, I guess my avatar if I can figure out how to do that. So, I'm going to save it. Well first, actually give me a second, I'm going to come back to you and try to figure out how I'm going to save this as a or a bitmap. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. And here's how I'm going to add a backing to this, um, to the actual uh, circle. So I'm going to insert another shape, and this one's going to be a rectangle. And I'm going to just drag it down to a good size. Looks good to me. And I'm going to format and send it to the back so that this shape is in the back and this shape is in the front. Center everything, make sure nothing looks bad. So here is the entire icon. It's not perfect, but hey, it's amateurish. <laughs> uh, my fill color. It would be cool to have it a little... Well, that's a little dull, isn't it? How about this? Nope. Oh, that was cool. This one. That's decent. 
but it's not dark enough, so shape fill. Make it a little darker. No, that's that's <laughs> monotonous. Shape fill will be a shade of green. Because that's just cool. Also, also, if you want to format this shape, you can do so just by right clicking it again and clicking format shape. Um, I'll choose gradient fill again and well, I have a lot of preset colors, but uh, where's my green? Well, moss. Alright, whatever. Line color. Line color is just basically this outside color you see here. Not a big deal. Uh, it'll be a solid well, gradient line, whatever. Line style, make it a little thicker. Okay. And give it a shadow. This is important to make it stick out for me. So I'm going to give it a, uh, a the same shadow. Right here it's under the circle. So I'm going to make this one under the circle as well. Under the square as well. Give it a little more size. A little more blur. And there is my icon. I think I'm good with the 3D format. I could change it if I really wanted, make it stick, you know, out vertically towards uh, whoever's viewing it. But that's that looks good right now. Now to bring this to bring this into paint, we're gonna have this selected and we're going to hit our print screen button on the keyboard, which I just pressed. Um, hopefully it will work. I'm going to open up paint and give a second there's paint sorry if the audio is a little bit off it has a tendency to do that I'm going to go to paste my image there it is so uh, what I want to do now is I believe I want to uh, to crop this image out this image needs to be uh, highlighted this one by itself to do this all I'm going to do is go image crop I'm going to drag, hopefully, no, I'm going to drag this, crop that right there. Then I'm going to select all, and I'm going to crop that. Let's see if this works. Crop it vertically. Uh, if I can grab it somehow. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll come back when I'm done cropping this. Alright, I finished cropping my image, so what I'm going to do is edit. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to file and save this image. I'm going to put it as my icon in my pictures. And I'm going to exit this out. Exit this out. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to go to my YouTube page um, so I can set this. So I'm going to click on my name and I'm going to find my settings. Hopefully, let's see, hold on a second. Alright, to do this, go to More and hit the Change button, and I'm going to choose a file from my Pictures folder. Here it is, Open, and it's uploading that image, so I'll hit Save Changes. Wait, <laughs> wait for it. It will save your changes, and that is how you create that as your image for YouTube. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.